Hey guys, Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. This week I wanted to share with you guys my capsule wardrobe for April, May, and June. Uh, thank you so much, Lillian Summers, for requesting this video. Uh, these are like my favorite videos to make and like the fact that you want to see it is super cool. So thank you so much for the request and let's get in the video. All right, so here are the bones of my capsule wardrobe. For outerwear, I have two pieces. For sweaters, I have two pieces for uh, these quarter sleeve shirts. So in this capsule, I have this t-shirt in three colors. I find it to be very user friendly. Um, I love the yellow. It's just like another neutral for me. And black is classic. All right, t-shirts. So I have a few of them in the wash. Uh, and I'm probably gonna figure out which ones in just a second. So I have my black Bella Canvas t-shirt. These are my favorite name brand tee. This is a small. I have another one of these in the laundry that's missing right now. But this is my uniform tee, and when I'm under high stress situations, I have a specific uniform in my capsule that I wear, and I'll, I'll talk more about that later, but tees. So a black tee, blue, this is new. Uh, this is another Bella Canvas tee. I got it in a Goodwill bag from somebody, I don't know. I love it, I don't even know what the words say. Band tee, and you know I end up with a lot of this color, which is weird, because I don't actually love this color, but I just end up with it. And then just another gray random tee, and then this brown tee from Target that I bought brand new doesn't fit right, it's weird. So that's why I have all these tees that don't make any sense, because I just can't find the right fit for me, like at a store, so. Before I go into pants and shorts, I wanna show you um, the other tops that look great with this pair of pants. Um, these sweaters, I also got at Costco. I'm not fancy, guys. They're so perfect. I have them in a small, um, but the, just everything about this sweater it hits me at the perfect spot on my hip. It's got just enough extra fabric here. I have two. When I find a fit I like, I always get it in every color because for me, the color is negotiable, but the fit is not. All right. One of the things I love about trends is like, as I'm getting older, these are all things that have been done before, right? I know how it fit me. I know how it worked. I know what I bought before. And I can kind of build on all that knowledge. So when I pick out a pair of wide leg jeans to go through the next, you know, two decades with me, um, I'm, I'm excited to pick out like the perfect fit. All right, let's move on to pants. So these are American Eagle super high waisted flare leg jeans. Uh, I love them, I have two pairs. Uh, these are replacing my previous uniform jeans, which were the American Eagle high waisted skinny kick. If you go look like, I don't know, two years ago when I'm not pregnant, <laughs> you'll see me wearing these jeans. Uh, obviously my jeans have gone farther because my jeans have had like nine month breaks every once in a while. Eh, six month breaks every once in a while. Um, but American Eagle is my go-to. I know they're not sustainable and I know they're expensive and I know they're not great quality, but the fit is right for me. So I don't buy a lot, I don't follow their sales, I don't shop all the time, but when I need a new pair of uniform jeans, um, I, I do that at American Eagle. So these were my previous uniform jeans. Now they're my gardening jeans. I may decide to cut them off into shorts. I have two pairs of these and I have two pairs of my new uniform jean in my capsule. Let's see it with a t-shirt. All right. It is, I mean, it is good guys. It is a good fit. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling I wish I had like a baseball cap. Time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong. Hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I wouldn't jump. Oh, what a fool. I keep ending up with this color because 
because it's the it's the contrast. It looks quite nice. So here is one of my big tips. If you don't get shirts that are the same fit, you'll need more outerwear pieces. If you limit yourself to a single simple type of fit that you know works for you and you try and get as many pieces of your base layer that's that fit, uh, then you'll only need one outer layer piece. Um, for me, I have been wearing this American Eagle button up that I got off ThreadUp uh, for probably six years now. This is one of the things I love to bring up because you you don't need a million pieces to look to put together. That's the thing, right? Most of us are either casual 70% of the time or formal 70% of the time or business casual 70% of the time. If you can nail down a good fit for your 70% outfit, then everything else falls together pretty smoothly. But if I fall, I will get up again. uniform tees uh, when I am having a difficult time, when I'm having a stressful week. You know, I have five children, I work remotely, um, I homeschool my children, and I make YouTube videos. It's a lot, it's really hard to do, and if I'm not really careful, I, I can just fail forward, you know? I can take the next step in all of these areas, but not necessarily a good next step, right? So I really have to prioritize my time. And when I get like strapped, and I'm mentally struggling and everything feels hard and maybe my children aren't sleeping well and you know, things start to pile on, I always revert back to a uniform. And this is that uniform. And then this is just what I wear every day. And again, when I'm in a struggle, then my uniform tends to be paired with my sweatshirt. And this is my favorite sweatshirt. It's the only one I have in my spring capsule. The colors are perfect. Um, the fit is glorious. The fabric is so broken in. Again, did I buy this? No, no, I did not. Uh, someone gave me a bag of clothes and I kept a lot of things from that bag, but this one was my all time favorite. Uh, this will probably be my summer hoodie if it's not too heavy, but I love it so much for spring. The color is perfect. Um, and it's just comfortable and cozy and great. So I actually hang this on my hook right here, which I'm gonna do right now. And then I just put this on as soon as I get out of bed. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond So I'm gonna show you my OG uniform jeans real quick. On the opposite shore, hello, the denim is starting to get really thin along the inseam. And then I've got like, I've walked through my heels. They're still an excellent fit. So if anyone is gonna go to American Eagle, um, this skinny flare kick. Next I have these white skinny leg jeans. Guys, these were just on sale. They were like three bucks. They were marked down so cheap that I thought these are just gonna be brand new jeans in a landfill. They should come live at my house. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't So obviously they blend well with whatever. This is just a regular uniform tee in the heels I was wearing with a different outfit. I'm gonna show you what I would ideally wear these pants with. Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Also, this sweater is great with shorts. So this is the first time I've put on a pair of shorts this season. They're my only jean shorts. If I had another pair of these, that would be ideal. I don't want to spend a bunch of money finding them. I just <laughs> invested in new uniform jeans. So these will just have to do for this spring and summer. Sandals. 
right here. Um, I really want some nice Birkin stocks. Uh, that's a staple I'm building up to, but I got these at Marshalls a couple years ago and they've held up really well. They're dirty. If I wash them, they'll be nicer. So this is that Target shirt. Um, it's okay. It's not bad. Again, it's like if I could show you what it does. That's it. That's what it does. Whenever I move, it just keeps all this extra fabric up here. I'm constantly having to like adjust it. Um, but the outerwear makes such a huge difference. You know, one good button up. You know, try on like 30 of them. Get the perfect one that fits you the best. They're just such a great addition to any capsule. But I want to go through some of my extra pieces. And these are what are really going to carry me end of May and most of June. Um, by the time June hits, I probably will have one pair of jeans on rotation. Uh, so just some little bike shorts. And then I've got two pairs of these patterned flowy shorts. I'm going to do a lot of yoga, so uh, things that are easy to move around in are kind of essential for my capsule. So it's kind of a ways off before I'm wearing all these items, but I will show you how I will style them anyway. We tried too many times, heartbreaks and heartaches. We tried too many times. You want me to do like I do. Wonder why you want me by your side. Like all the time. You want my love all night. Telling me lies. Maybe stop telling me. So like this is a monochromatic pattern, so it's not so poppy even though it's a pattern and it looks good with any straight color item I have and it also looks fine with all of my t-shirt fits. You hugely limit your capsule if you pick a bottom and a top that clash. Uh, these jeans and these quarter sleeve t-shirts are going to be like the rulers of April. I did not. Um, again, this is just a shirt that I got in a bag of someone else's stuff. All right, I'm gonna quickly hang everything back up for an easy tally. of shoes, one belt, a cuff, this little bracelet, four pairs of soft shorts, one pair of leggings, one pair of jean shorts, two pairs of my dark uniform jeans, two pairs of my light uniform jeans, one pair of skinny jeans, one pair of corduroys, seven t-shirts, three long sleeve shirts, two sweaters, and two outerwear pieces. All right, guys, that is it for my 2024 spring capsule wardrobe video. Thank you so much for watching and for requesting. Uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you next time.